hundreds of thousands of spectators watched the Boston Marathon from the ground yesterday. But how about from this view? This was a vantage point atop View Boston at the Prue. View Boston actually held a small event to celebrate the marathon. Nearly 30,000 runners took part in the race this year. That's pretty cool to see it from that vantage point there. I know yeah. you can see from all of the streets, yeah. really all over the uh, city. Yeah. It was just incredible. I did not realize the extent. And it, yeah. it's it's almost emotional. So many people so worked emotional. so yeah. hard. Yeah. For and a long then they time. did it. Yep. Then they did it. Um, and I they're wish... recovering today. Yeah. Yeah. Except for oh, Tucker yeah. Wooten, who was working this morning. <laughs> yeah. Not Good much of a recovery, right? <laughs> uh, to peel back the onion here and, and let people in on the inside of this show, I wish that people could could hear the <laughs> audible reaction when the doctor from that last story was like, oh, yeah, we're in for a pretty brutal allergy season. We all three were like, great. Great. Here we go again. Do we have three allergy sufferers here? Yeah. I know. Hardcore. One definitely yes. right here. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. I know. God three loves I know. We'll see. Well, look it. We have... <laughs> We always have our <laughs> tissues ready. We're ready to go. So if you okay, need one. Thank you. Thank good. you. You know what? I appreciate it. I got you look, covered. Look at these <laughs> next five days. We're going to need the tissues for sure the next five days. High pollen counts. Obviously, the dominant pollen this time of year, tree pollen, as we're starting to get the leaves back on the tree. So elm, poplar, and juniper. Yeah, it's going to be high. We're going to see that uh, really for the next couple of weeks, likely, even the next month for the tree pollens. But yesterday and today. Not much to complain about other than those allergies. Temperatures at 73 degrees yesterday, 67 so far today. The the thing is, we're not going to stay there. Of course, it's New England. We're going to see those changing conditions. By tomorrow, we're in the upper 50s. And then Thursday, we're going to actually be below normal. So Wednesday, that's pretty close to where we should be for this time of year. But hasn't it been a treat with these warmer temperatures? Currently at 67, we'll be watching temperatures fall going through our next couple of hours, of course. But clear skies overnight tonight, upper 50s by the time we go around 9 o'clock. It's still going to be very warm and very nice if you want to get out for a little evening stroll or anything like that. Wind gusts are also around with these warmer temperatures, just like yesterday. Yesterday it was a bit more gusty, but 25 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts and the wind is coming in from the east. So the west, excuse me. So the biggest change between today and tomorrow, the reason those temperatures will be dropping is going to be a wind shift that does come into the picture and it's going to give us that sea breeze. So Boston 57 degrees, middle 60s further inland, 65 for Natick, 63 for Worcester. So across the board, about 5 to even 10 degrees cooler than what we're seeing today. Thursday, this is when the changes are really settling in. Clouds start to build ahead of a few rain chances. Not everybody will be getting wet on Thursday, but temperatures for Thursday will be in the low 50s. Definitely cooler, about 20 degrees cooler than what we saw yesterday. So staying mainly dry through our Wednesday. We will have a few more clouds Wednesday than what we saw today, but those clouds start to thicken up ahead of these rain chances that are going to be trying to make their way in early Thursday. A lot of it does stay to the south, but there will be a few areas of rain that do make it to especially central Massachusetts before we do start to see this winding down and moving out for parts of our Friday. Then as we go into Saturday, our next system is going to try to make the trek across the region, and it is going to successfully bring rain in spots. We do have about a 40% chance of rain Saturday. That's going to be early in the day. So the second half of the day will be drying out, even late mornings starting to dry things out for Saturday and temperatures Saturday back in the upper 60s. Before we start to settle down, we're going to be very close to normal for much of next week. Temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s. Not much to complain about there because lots of sunshine Sunday through Tuesday and low rain chances will be sticking around.